John Rosenblum. Welcome to Roots and Dunn on a beautiful Friday night. Yes, we are in Rootstown, Ohio, and it's Robert C. Dunn Field for the biggest game in Portage County this year. It's 9-0, Rootstown hosting 8-0 Mogador. What a great game it should be. All ready to stand, start filling in. The energy is terrific. Half full on both sides, and we're still 88 minutes or so from kickoff. But let's move on, first of all, to game balls from week nine. I wanted to get to that real quick. Number one, it's going to go to a guy right here that they love in Rootstown, Caleb Cow. He had a tremendous game against Garfield in making sure that the Rootstown Rovers came up with that win. Cout had two huge touchdowns in the second half, allowing them to pull out the win. I'm also going to give a game ball to the other sideline here, Gavin Christie from Mogador. Three touchdowns against Valley Christie. That was a dangerous game, a, a potential trap game, but of course Mogador doesn't fall for trap games. Such a mentally strong team, and Gavin Christie certainly came up with a great performance in that one. The third game ball I'm going to give actually to G-Man coach Mike Mosher. He came out with a very creative, crafty game plan uh, against the Rookstown Rovers. Now obviously the Rovers won that game, but in the first half the G-Man really took him by surprise with a short passing game. They rolled out Ryan Brown, got some real completions going in the passing game. Probably their best game passing all season long, so a game ball to Mike Mosher for all the G-Men coach did to establish the pass game in that one. I also want to give a game ball to Sonny Ray Jones, the Ravenna running back. is peaking once again at the right time as the Ravens won their fourth straight game against Streetsboro last week, and it was full of big explosion plays from Sonny Ray Jones, including when the Ravens were down 12-7, and Sonny Ray Jones caught a 44-yard touchdown pass down the sideline to put the Ravens on top for good. I also want to give a game ball to Dakota Miller of Waterloo. Four touchdowns. He had an explosive game himself. Three touchdowns of 25 yards plus. A tremendous game for the Vikings as they rolled against Seabury McKinley. And then the final game ball of the week goes to Coventry's Trayon Sibley. Three touchdown catches, all more than 20 yards, and two touchdown runs. An incredible game for him. Now let's get to our games of the week, and I actually think Cloverleaf at Streets Pro is a huge game. It's the final game of the year for the Rockets in Coach Pete Thompson's first year in Streets Pro, and a great chance to enter the offseason with plenty of momentum. Now Streets Pro's done really well at home all season long. Four and one at Quinfield. If they can end this year five and one at Quinfield, give some momentum, make the home fans happy. Going into year num number two of Thompson's tenure, I think that's a big deal. Now Streets Pro did struggle to run the ball last week, and that's going to be a big test going into week ten because Cloverleaf does have the size to contain the run. Uh, we also have a big game between Garfield at Southeast. Now the Pirates upset the G-Men last year in overtime. This game is at Freedom Field, and for the Garfield G-Men, this game is everything. If they win, they are a 97% chance to make the postseason. Now, Southeast is out of the postseason, but they are an incredibly dangerous team, and I love the big arm of Dylan Rogers. This is really a contrast between two teams that are going to do completely different things. For Southeast, they might pass the ball 30 to 40 times tonight. For the G-Men, they're going to run the ball 30 to 40 times tonight. A contrast in styles, a great game, uh, but of course, the game of the week is right here at Robert C. Dunn Field. Mogador at Rutstown. This should really be a lot of fun. Both of these teams are actually very similar in a lot of ways. They both have the dominant linebacker, whether you're talking about Paul Sky for Mogador uh, or you're talking about Nate Moore for uh, Rutstown here. They both have great rushing attacks. Now, of course, for Mogador, they're going to run it between three to five different backs. For Rutstown, they're going to lean a little bit more on Caleb Cout, who's run for 1,577 yards this season and 24 touchdowns. Now, Rutstown, their specialty is probably the balance most of all. This is a team that can throw the deep ball, they can run inside, they can run outside. Caleb Cowd has become the all-around runner. You can run him on every single down. Uh, but Mogador, too, has really developed a great short pass game. Luke Rosado is looking more and more comfortable with each week that passes. So this is really a tremendous game between two teams that have the necessary balance. They've got the defensive skill. They both have dominant linebackers. It should be one heck of a night here at Robert C. Dunfield. Reporting live, Joan Rosenblum, Record Courier.